In this video, we're going to be taking a look at story problems or word problems in math, and we're going to be focusing in on the try, check, and the revise strategy. Now, what the try, check, and revise strategy means, the first word there is try. So in other words, we're going to read the story problem and try to create a solution or try to find a solution to the problem. Then we're going to check it to make sure it makes sense and it's a logical conclusion okay and then also that will meet the criteria of the question that they're asking and then we may or may not get to the revised part because if it makes sense then we don't need to revise however if it does not make sense then we will have to revise it and then we'll try check again and then possibly revise and we'll keep going and doing this until we do get a correct answer so this is not a type of a problem where you know you get an incorrect answer and you don't think you can do it you just try it you check it and you continue to revise now just like every other story problem we're always going to ask ourselves two questions and I want you to write these down in your notes for every single problem you want to think about what you know what do I know in the problem, any important facts that you think will help you solve the problem, and then finally, what am I trying to find that will help you focus in on that question. So I'm going to first of all read this problem and just listen as I go through this. Okay, so it says a family plans to build a rectangular dog run for their dog, Coco. The run will be four feet longer than it is wide. If 60 feet of fencing will be used, what will be the length and width? Okay, now, we're going to think about what we know. Now, I don't need to necessarily include that the family plans to build a rectangular run for their dog, Coco. Okay, that's fine and dandy, but that's not going to really help us solve the problem as far as what they're doing in their plan. Now, rectangular is really important because we're going to be working with a rectangle. Okay, now the run will be four feet longer than it is wide. Okay, and then 60 feet of fence will be used. So there's some important facts there. All right, so I will write down the dog run will be rectangular with a perimeter of 60 feet. And then another important fact the length is four feet longer than the width. Okay, so those are some important facts. And then what am I trying to find? We want to restate the question that we're trying to locate or try to figure out in our own words. I need to find the length and width of the dog run if all the fencing is used, okay? Because we know that um, 60 feet of fencing will be used. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to draw a rectangle. And then I'm going to try to figure this problem out. Okay, so there's my rectangle. Now I'm going to try a solution. I'm going to check it, and then I possibly may need to revise it. Now, I know that the length is 4 feet longer than the width, So, and I know it's going to equal 60 feet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to think of some numbers. Let's try 15 for the length. I'm going to try 11 for the width, because I know 15 is 4 greater, or greater than 11 by 4. Okay, so that means top length and or top length is 15, bottom length is 15. Also, both sides will be 11. So, I know that I have four greater than the length. Okay, I'm sorry, than the width. Okay, so now what I can do is I can just type these numbers right into my calculator, and you're able to use a calculator. So I will do 15 plus 15 plus 11 plus 11. So I, I tried it, now I'm checking it. Okay, now that gives me 52. It does need to equal 60. Okay, so that means I need to increase my length and also increase my width. I'm 8 off right now. Okay, so I will clear this out in my calculator. I'm not going to start kicking and screaming or anything like that. I'm just going to simply revise it. So we've tried it, we've checked it, now it's time to revise. Okay, now what I can do since I was 8 off, basically what I need to do is add 4 to each side. I'm sorry, 2 to each side equaling 8. Okay, so if I, I had 15 here, so I'm going to do 17 
I had 11 here, so I'm going to do 13. 13 and 17. Okay, so I've tried it. I've checked it. I'm going to check. Okay, I know that 4, the length is 4 greater than the width. Okay, so I'm okay there. Now what I will do is just begin adding the lengths and the widths together. So I have 17 plus 17 plus 13 plus 13. Okay, and I do have the answer of 60, and that's how much fence they needed to use. All right, so I need to think about what I'm trying to find again, find the length and the width of the dog run if all the fence is used. So I have my answer of the length is 17 feet and the width is 13 feet. Okay, I have another problem here, so, and I want you to do this problem along with me in your math journal. You don't have to write it down, the, the question, but just go through the process with me. It says, David is 10 inches taller than his sister. The sum of their heights is 104 inches. What is um, each of their heights? So first of all, I want you to write down what do I know, that question. And we can see from our problem what we know is when I add each of their heights, it equals 104 inches. And we also know that David is 10 inches taller than Katie. All right, now what am I trying to find? Let's write this out. From the question, we can see that we're trying to find what is the height of both David and Katie. All right, so we know each of them, each of their heights will equal 104 inches. David is 10 inches taller than his sister Katie. So what we're going to do, we're going to try, check, and revise. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to try to pick two numbers that when added together can come close to 104. But remember, David is 10 inches taller than his sister Katie. So let's say that we have David is 65 inches and Katie is 55 inches. Okay, we, we're in the criteria of David is 10 inches taller than his sister Katie. Now what we will do, just add these two up using our calculator, 65 plus 55, that gives us 120. Now, that is greater than 104, so that's not going to work. Remember, we don't kick and scream or get upset or anything. We just simply, we've tried it, we've checked it, now it's time to revise it. Okay, so we're going to try another prob another solution here. Okay, so let's think of a problem where once again, remember that David is 10 inches taller, so we're going to try 50, let's try 57 inches for David. And let's try 47 inches for Katie. It still meets our criteria of David being 10 inches taller than Katie. You see 57 is 10 greater than 47. Now let's try to add this together. 57 plus 47, so we've tried it. Now we're going to check it, and that does give us 104, okay? So we don't need to revise or anything like that. We can see that David is 57 inches, Katie is 47 inches, so our answer will be David is 57 inches and Katie is 47 inches tall. Okay, I want you to do this problem with me as well. It says Kenya is six years younger than Paul. The sum of their ages is 28. How old is Kenya? How old is Paul? So the things that we know so far, we're going to write these down. From our story problem, we know that Kenya is six years younger than Paul, and the sum of their ages equals 28. So we don't really know too much detail, but enough to solve the problem. As far as what we're trying to find, what we are trying to find is Kenya and Paul's separate ages. Okay, so we're going to try some solutions, we'll check it, and then we will revise it. All right, so keeping in mind that Kenya is six years younger than Paul, so what we need to do is to write down two digits that are six from each other that, that have a difference of six. So what we can do, let's try Kenya as being 12. That means Paul would be 18. 
Okay, now I know 12 plus 18, if I can put in the, if you need your calculator, probably don't need it for this one. 12 plus 18 is going to give me 30. Okay, however, the sum of their ages needs to equal 28. Now this is pretty simple because what I can do, I know that 30 is 2 off from 28, so what I can do is just take 1 away from my 12, making that 11, so that's taking 1 off of that 30, and then I can take 1 off of the 18, so now that's taking 2 off of my 30. 11 plus 17 will give me 28. Okay, now I can see that is my answer. Okay, the sum of their ages does equal, need to equal 28. So I can see that Kenya is 11, and I can see that Paul is 17. So my answer will be Kenya is 11 years old, and Paul is 17 years old. Now what I want you to do now is pause the video, complete this problem, and when you're finished, I will have the answers for you. So I want you to pause the video now. All right, as far as what you know, you should have written down, Brian has four more dimes than nickels. Together, the coins total $1.45. What are you trying to find? How many of each coins does Brian have that finally equal $1.45? And your answer should be, after you've tried, checked, and revised, Brian has 7 nickels and 11 dimes. So this is a strategy that you will use as you encounter word problems. You want to try it, you want to check it, and then you don't kick and scream. If you don't get it correct, you just revise it. So if you have any questions about this concept, please come and see me.